Quaker. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est is now ouverte. in session. As the chamber informs the parties and the public yesterday, for this morning Comme session, we will hier, hear the testimony matin, of TCW548. And for the afternoon session, we will have a video conference with a witness from France. Avec un témoin qui est en France. As we will have the afternoon session for video conferencing for this morning witness, we will have him coming over again tomorrow for tomorrow morning session. Le témoin de ce matin reviendra Mr. Dow and Sen, could you report également. the attendance Je of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Des parties et autres personnes à l'audience. Dow and Sen, Mr. President, le for this morning's proceeding, all parties to the case are present except Mr. Sun Arun, who is absent due to his health reasons. No is in the holding cell downstairs based on the decision of the trial chamber concerning his health. As scheduled and as informed by the president, the witness TCW548 is ready to be called. This witness took an oath already yesterday, the 20th of May 2013. The witness also confirms to his knowledge and ability he has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused or any of the civil parties recognized in this case. Des accusés ou l'une quelconque des parties civiles constituées dans ce dossier. This witness does not have a duty counsel, ne sera pas and we do not have a reserve witness for this morning Ailleurs, session. Aucun de As réserve for the afternoon session, that matin. is the hearing Quant à cet of TCW277 through la video conferencing, témoin, TCW 277 has confirmed that this witness, witness has no relationship by blood or by law to any of the two accused or any of the civil parties recognized in this case. Constitué dans ce dossier. The afternoon winners will Le témoin de cet take an oath before the commencement of the testimony this afternoon. De the AV unit already informed that La régie all the equipment has been set up properly. Tout le matériel avait été President, thank installé. you. Court officer, le could président. you invite TCW548 into the courtroom? Veuillez faire entrer dans le prétoire le témoin TCW 548. Good morning, Mr. Witness. What is your name? Bonjour, Monsieur le Témoin. Comment vous appelez-vous? Witness. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. My name is Prum Su. Je m'appelle Prum Su. Thank you. Le Président. Besides Prum Su, do you have any other names or alias? Avez-vous d'autres noms ou surnoms? When I was at school, my name was Sun Leun. À l'école, on m'appelait Sun Leun. Thank you. Question. Question. 
When were you born? Quand êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. I was born on 4th July Le 4 1950. juillet 1950. Thank you. Question. Question. What, what is, where is your current address? Où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer. Réponse. My address is in Simriep province. Dans la province de Simriep. Question. Question. What is your current occupation? Quel est votre métier actuel? Answer. Réponse. I do not work. I am Je a handicapped pas. person. Je suis and I handicapé. live on my pension and with the support of my children. Je vis children. de mes allocations et grâce au soutien Question. So de it means that you enfants. are a retired uh, civil servant. Is this correct? Question. Vous êtes donc fonctionnaire à la retraite? Answer. Yes. Réponse. Oui. Thank you. Question. Question. Where were you born, Mr. Promsu? Où êtes-vous né, Monsieur Promsu? Answer. Réponse. I was born in Rolou village. Dans le village Sraiche de Rolou, commune, commune de Swaiche, district, district de Tumbang province. Province de Batambang. Question. Question. Can you tell the chamber your father's name, your mother's name, your wife's name, Quel and nom the de number votre of children that you have? De votre mère et de votre épouse. Et combien d'enfants avez-vous My father's Réponse. name was Chong Sun and my mother's name is Hoot Mon. Et ma mère Hoot Mon. My wife's name is Rim Sam An. Ma Anne. femme s'appelle Rim Sam An. And we have four children. Nous avons quatre enfants. Thank you, Mr. Promsu, as reported by the greffier, to your best knowledge and ability, greffier, you have no relationship vous by blood or by parenté, law, que ce soit par alliance ou par le sang, through any of the civil parties recognized in this case, dossier, nor through any of the true accused, that is Nunchi and Kirsten Is this correct? Est-ce exact? Answer, yes, Réponse. that is correct. C'est exact. Thank you. Also, in the report uh, by le the greffier, le you already greffier, took an oath before you appear serment. before this chamber. Did you take an oath as exact? reported? Answer. Réponse. Yes, the greffier oui. took me to make an oath. Le greffier m'a déjà fait prêter serment. Thank you, Mr. Promsu. Le and as Merci, Monsieur Promsu. A witness appearing before this en trial tant chamber. Que témoin, we would like to inform you of your right and obligation as follows. Voici vos droits et obligations. Mr. Promsu. Regarding your right as a witness before this trial chamber, you may refuse to respond to any questions de répondre à toute question or comments that would incriminate you, that is your right against self-incrimination, which means if you think your response may incriminate you. Au cas Vous now, for your obligation as a witness before this poursuites. trial chamber, you must respond to all the questions put to you by any par ailleurs, of the parties or any judge of the bench, except in the case of the right against self-incrimination. And que as a witness, you must tell the truth expliquer. that you have heard, en tant que témoin, have experienced, or have witnessed directly of the events related to the questions put to you by any of the parties and judges of the bench. Do you understand your right and obligation? Comprenez-vous? Answer, yes, I Réponse. understand it. Oui. Thank you.
Mr. Promsu, have you ever interviewed by the investigator of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges in the last few years? Du bureau des co -juges if so, au de how many times années? and where si oui, did combien it take de place? Et à quel Answer. Réponse. I was interviewed by the investigation team in Siem Reap province de in 2009. And I have the written record of interview with me. J'ai avec moi Question. le procès verbal d'audition. How many times were you Question. interviewed? Combien de fois avez-vous été entendu? Answer: Réponse. Only one time. Une seule fois. It lasted a whole day. Cela a pris Thank you. toute une journée. Question. Before you appear before this chamber, Avant have you read or reviewed the written record of your interview with the investigators in order to re pour vous rafraîchir yourself? la mémoire? Answer. Réponse. Yes, I read oui. and reviewed the record. J'ai relu ce document. Question. Question. To your best knowledge, can you tell us whether the written record Selon of interview vous, that you have read and reviewed in order to refresh your memory is consistent with your responses that you gave to the investigators in 2009? De ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs en 2009? Answer yes. Réponse oui. It is correct. For that reason, I signed on the record of interview. Ce procès verbal est fidèle. Raison pour laquelle j'ai apposé ma signature. And uh, Mr. Promsu, le président. Merci. Before you respond to Monsieur the Promsu, question, please pause a little bit until you see posée, the red light on the feet of the microphone le or on the console. Que de votre micro ou de red votre console s'allume. The microphone Quand is le voyant rouge est allumé, cela veut dire que le micro est allumé et so que vous pouvez parler. Both inside the courtroom and through the gallery as well as to the interpretation booth. Entendu Tant and of course, the microphone and the console will be operated by the AV personnel. This is in order for you to provide a complete response micro. with a proper interpretation. The floor is now given to the prosecution to put questions to this witness. And we would like to inform that both sides of the bench will have half a day each. That is, the prosecution and the lead co-lawyer will have this morning session and for tomorrow morning session, matin, the floor will be given to the defense matin, teams. La parole sera donnée prosecution. Aux de Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Mr. President, your honors, and Merci, everyone. Monsieur le Président. Bonjour Good morning, Mr. Witness Promsu. My name is Chowan, representing Promsu. the National Je Prosecutor. Je représente and to my right is Mr. Delisa, representing the International Prosecutor. We have some questions for you regarding the democratic ambition regime and your experience living through the regime. First, I'd like to ask about uh, some of your backgrounds prior to 1975. You have been asked by the president whether you Le have uh, read or reviewed your written si records of interview that you made with the investigators. Uh, my question is whether you have that uh, record with you. Ma we have an additional copy here if you don't have one. Disposez-vous d'un exemplaire de ce document. Dans le cas contraire, nous en tenons un à votre disposition. And uh, yes, I Réponse. have the document with me. J'en ai un avec moi. Question. 
question. Then I'll commence my questioning to you, and uh, from time to time I will refer to that written record Il of interview. De faire référence à ce PV in your written record of interview dans ce, dans dated 24 November 2009, November 2009, you stated that probably in late 1971, Anka assigns you to be propagandist. Lancard that is in question answer number one. Je vous renvoie à la réponse numéro un de ce procès verbal. My question is the following. As a propagandist, en tant que responsable de la propagande, quelles étaient vos activités Answer. Réponse. À l'époque, je vivais dans le district de Tsvaïdamnak, dans le village de Tsvaïdamnak. Et dans le village de Tsvaïdamnak. Et on a assigné à l'encart de propagandize in the base ma désigné pour faire de la propagande district. dans les bases autrement dit dans le district in de particular in Lovia et en particulier à Lovia Prosan which was a distant uh, commune qui était une adjacent to Kampung Thom province située loin de là et qui était contiguë à la province within that district de and I would propagandize to the villagers to have a stable stance, political stance, parmi les and not pour leur to flee la position politique from the area. Correct, et pour leur faire comprendre qu'ils ne devaient you. pas quitter cette zone. Question. question. Also, in your response to, to that question, you mentioned Anka. Vous parlez de Lanka. What do you mean when you refer to Anka in that statement? À quoi renvoie cette mention de Lanka? Answer. Réponse. It referred to the leadership Cela level above me. Au dirigeant that qui is était the plus haut que moi. 103. Autrement dit, le secteur 103. Question. Was Anka Question. only up to the sector level, or was Anka Lankar also above the sector level? Atteignait-elle seulement le niveau du secteur, ou bien allait-elle plus haut? Answer. Réponse. Through my knowledge, Anka was from the top level Lankar down to the base tout level. Tout At the top level, there would be the base. central Au suprême, il y avait le comité central. And then there would be Ensuite, the Anka at zone and at sector level. This is based sectors. on my understanding. Ainsi que je les choses. Thank you. Question. Question. When you served as a propagandist, Quand vous étiez responsable did de you la hear of people talking about cooperative back then? Avez-vous entendu parler de coopérative? Answer. In the sector 103 of Pravihir province, province de they Pravihir, did not refer to a cooperative, rather they referred to a community. On they de worked together, they did the rice farming together, ensemble, but they ate ensemble. individually. Par contre, les repas pris and only at a later stage, then tard. the community was transformed into a cooperative la and by then the people ate pour communally. Une coopérative. Et à ce moment-là, on a commencé à prendre les repas en commun. Question. Question. Do you know in what year was the cooperative established? Savez-vous en quelle année des coopératives ont été mises en place? Answer. Through my Réponse. recollection, it was souvenirs. established in 1973. En as for the community, it was established en around 1971 or 1972. Cela à 71 ou 72. Question. Do you know who gave the order Question. for the establishment of the cooperative in the place where you worked? Une coopérative à l'endroit où vous travaillez. Answer. Réponse. It was only the district and the sector levels or committees who les made such a preparation. Thank you. 
effectuer les préparatifs nécessaires dans ce sens. Again, in your written record of Question. interview, in Toujours the same question and answer session one, et you dans stated that in 1972, Anka made you Lanka to be a core member, and in 1973, you became a party's member at Along Swai office, presided over by Hong, who was the deputy de chairman of Sector 103. My question is, when did you know Hong, and under what à circumstances? Et dans quelles circonstances Answer. Réponse. Hong was a cadre Han était un cadre who first came to Rovian district and he led the people there qui in his capacity as the deputy chairman of sector 103. Les gens en tant que chef adjoint du secteur 103. Question. Can you recall in what Question. year that you got to know this person, Hong? En quelle année avez-vous rencontré ce Hong? Si Answer. vous vous en souvenez. Réponse. I got to know him in Je around 1971. Vers 1971. When Hu Yun came for a meeting Hu in Rovieng Pagoda. Est venu à la pagode de Rovieng pour une réunion. Question. Question. Who introduced you to Hong? Uh, or how did Qui you get to know him in 1971? Dans quelles circonstances l'avez-vous rencontré en 1971? Réponse. Everybody knew that he was within Chacun the sector level il était au niveau du secteur. because he also called me for the study session, Car he was il part me of the base uh, Onka group. Il partie Thank you. Du groupe fondamental Question. De I'd like you to set some light Question. on Sector 103. Can you tell us sector sector one or three, whether, one, whether Sector 103 covered uh, a number of areas? Or provinces? Est-ce que ce secteur Answer. couvrait plusieurs euh, provinces one ou régions? Réponse. Le secteur 103 couvrait l'ensemble de la province de Préavihir, ainsi the que of celle de Stengkreng, soit à l'est du Mekong. Question. Can you recall how many districts Question. there were within Sector 103? De combien de Answer. districts était formé le Sector In 103? In Sector 103, Réponse. there were le 13 districts. Le Sector 103 comptait 13 districts. That was after 1970. Ça, c'était après 1970. Question. Question. Under which zone was Sector 103? Located or was it autonomous? De quelle zone faisait partie le secteur 103 ou bien était-ce un secteur autonome? Sector 103 Réponse, le secteur autonomous 103 and it était under the autonome, supervision of the il center. relevait de la supervision directe du At centre. Time, zone, level was not à l'époque, on n'avait pas encore mis en Thank place you. de zone. Question. Again, in your question answer Toujours one, dans la réponse numéro un, you stated that Anka assigns you to work in the agricultural office, travailler au bureau in the commerce office. Du commerce. My question is, prior to 17 April 1975, Avant was the sector 103 commerce office involved in dealing with particular uh, matters? Est-ce que le bureau du commerce était chargé de certaines tâches spécifiques? Answer. Réponse. Before 17 April 1975, Avant le 17 avril 1975, the commerce office of sector 103 du secteur 103 
involved in dealing with the livelihood of the people in the entire sector. De that was the de la primary attack, in particular to deal with uh, the supply of salt, Cela secondly the medicine, en sel, en and thirdly the clothing for the people. En Question. Question. Thank you very much. Uh, before I move to the next topic, I would like uh, to ask you, suivant, between 1971 and 1975, had Entre you ever 71 et met 75, with any senior leaders of the Khmer Rouge, des hauts either Khmer Rouge. meeting during a sessions where speeches were made Par in exemple, your sector. au cours d'une réunion tenue dans votre secteur au cours de laquelle des discours auraient été prononcés. Response. Oh, yes. uh, From 1970 to 1975, I had never met in person any senior leaders. Je jamais rencontré de hauts dirigeants but I heard of their travels. I heard that they passed our area. of Mr. Kilsom Pond who got married in Rovian or had a wife in Rovian. Rather, and in 1973, we heard that uh, some like traveled with other people from Stung Trang to Prairie here, all the way to Siem Reap, and they were accompanied by Kyo Song Pon and Nguyen Chia. I never met them, but I heard about this. Question. How did you know Question. about this, or how did Comment you hear about this? Response. Réponse. I heard from people in the base, for example, people in Rovian district, or in Song Kung Khmei district, who briefed me. Question. Thank you. The final question before I move to the new topic is Did you ever see Mr. Kilsom Pan before? April 1975, or during the period of Democratic Cambodia. Ou alors pendant la période du Response. Cambodia démocratique. No, I didn't. Réponse. I non. never met him in person, although jamais, I knew he got a wife uh, in Mais je savais Rovian. Il avait une femme I never Rovian. met uh, him or his wife in Mais person, but I knew that he was an intellectual, a person who graduated with a law degree in France. Diplômé en droit Question. Et Thank en you. I would France. like to now move to the Question. topic of forced evacuation. Merci. Je On the 17th of April 1975, where were you? April 1975. Response. On the 17th of April 1975, I was at the Commerce Office at uh, Rovian district Je of Prefi here. Au bureau de commerce, uh, dans le district de Rovien, Question. Thank you. Under your statement, in your statement Question. of the same record Merci. on question and answer number dans 15, when you were asked uh, these questions, 
about the people who were transferred to sector 103, where were they from? And you say that the people who were at sector 103 were those who were students from France and Germany, for example. My question to you is, when did you see these evacuees coming to sector 103? Response. Response. It was in Kampong Tom province that I saw people being evacuated from Phnom Penh to Prabhi here because I was in charge of transporting goods and we had to distribute uh, tractors and vehicles at sector 103 and during these, the course of my work I saw the evacuees. Question. You have not answered my question yet. Uh, when did you see them? Response. I don't remember the exact they, but I knew for sure exact. that these evacuees were transported Mais by boats and they were disembarked at Kampong Tum at the vicinity of Stung San Hotel, the current Stung San Hotel vicinity. Question. Did you know in advance that uh, these people would be sent to Sector 103? Response, no, I didn't. However, whenever the plan was made and Cependant, carried out, commerce uh, section would be tasked with distributing all the foods and commodities for the use of the people, for people to use in Sector 103. Question. You were asked this question, where these evacuees uh, were from, and you said that they were from Phnom Penh, the majority of whom were sent from Phnom Penh. How did you know they were from Phnom Penh? Response. I knew this because I had to receive them in Kampong Tom. Puisque je l'ai réceptionné à Kampong Tom. Question. How many people Question. were sent from Phnom Penh at that time? Combien How many families in total, if you still remember? Combien de familles, d'après vos souvenirs? Response. Réponse. There were about three, uh, rather 3,000 people. Ils étaient environ 3,000 personnes. Question. About 3,000 people. Are you referring environ only to Phnom Penh evacuees or are you also referring to other evacuees ou également at à that time? Response. No other evacuees uh, were seen coming to uh, that location Il where I had to receive. The, these people were mainly sent uh, from Phnom Penh only. And uh, we had to receive them. If they were from Nous different locations, they would be received elsewhere. Question. Thank you. Merci. During the evacuation, did you know whether cadres of Factor 103 would be instructed on how to deal with the evacuees? Savez-vous si on a donné des instructions au cadre du secteur 103 
sur la manière de traiter ces évacués. Nous avons reçu l'instruction à l'avance avant de les évacuer. Tasked with distributing de les accueillir. Salt, Food de distribuer du and sel, other basic needs de la to the evacuees, and that was uh, our task. And after that, um, the job is done. C'est ce que nous étions chargés de faire. Question. Et tout. You also Question. mentioned about Anka 103. Vous avez également mentionné. Who Anka were 103. in the Anka 103. Qui faisait partie de l'Ankar 103? In the sector level of leadership, there were a few people and people Au who were in charge of secteur, uh, evacuating personnes, uh, the people from Phnom Penh was uh, uh, including Hong. Hong Parmi ceux qui ordered étaient me chargés to de l'évacuation uh, des évacués de Phnom Penh, il y avait Hong qui m'a donné l'ordre de distribuer materials as well de la nourriture et du matériel Question. à ces personnes. Uh, were the supplies Question. adequate for 3, y avait-il suffisamment de vivres pour ces 3000 évacués que, uh, Réponse. Réponse. Rice and salt uh, were decent. Uh, and uh, we also provided uh, these people with enough tractors and vehicles de tracteurs et for de use. Également. Question. To the best Question. of your knowledge, ce que vous savez, were you aware why there was an order to evacuate the people from Phnom Penh? Pourquoi on a évacué ces personnes de Phnom Penh? Response. Based on my réponse. knowledge and analysis, Phnom Penh was liberated. Sais, Yet, Phnom Penh had Penh some security issues to be resolved. Il For example, that the bombs would be dropped capitale, by Americans, exemple, and bombing was also a big concern. And most importantly, food was Était une préoccupation a part of priority for Anka to ensure that people had enough to eat and for that uh, people may have to be evacuated. Question. À manger you et also présent, mentioned about the Question. students from France and Germany, for example, who had to exemple, be transferred to Sector 103. My question to you 103. is, were these people, these returnees, uh, sent to Sector 103 simultaneously when the evacuees were sent from Phnom Penh? ont été envoyés au Sector 103 en même temps que les évacués Response. qui sont partis de Phnom Penh. The Réponse. students who were from abroad uh, were Les sent to the sector at a later date, and Anka arranged uh, to have them transferred to sector 103 subsequently. subsequently. Question. Question. Thank you. Regarding Merci. the evacuees from Phnom Penh and Khmer returnees uh, to 103, Sector 103, were they obliged uh, to produce their biographies upon arriving at the Sector 103? Était-il obligé de rédiger leur biographie en arrivant au Sector 103? 
response. I don't know about People. this. People were dispersed Je or sent to cooperate. Biographies could have been taken, but they could have been made uh, to produce these biographies in each uh, or respective co cooperative. Et se peut aussi qu'il les ait rédigés dans leur coopérative. Now, with regard to Question. the new people who Merci. were evacuated to sector 103, and I may refer to your statement in Q&A number 17. You said this. Those evacuees worked in different cooperatives and some of skilled people were assigned to work in workshops as uh, lathe operators. Most of these new people died of starvation and disease. My question is, why most of these new people died of starvation and disease? Plupart de ces nouveaux euh, habitants sont-ils décédés Response. du manque de nourriture et suite I à la maladie Je l'ai vu. Les coopératives n'étaient pas capables de gérer les personnes et n'avaient pas l'expérience nécessaire and pour prendre en charge autant de gens. When people were sent to cooperative, they were Lorsque later on transferred to work at Thmai village. This Ils group of people were confined or were placed in this single place. It's a new Et village indeed. So Ils they had to clear the plantation. Village, they need to clear the forest uh, for paving way for plantation and it was not easy because it was not like uh, sending people to the old village facile, where you would uh, make the most of the fruit trees and available plants uh, uh, but here they were sent to a different uh, place Là, so that they could be sell sufficient but after a while they were uh, reintegrated into the old village Plus to tard, mingle with the old villagers Question. Pour se mêler à la population de ce village. Question. Were most of the people who died of starvation and disease the new people, or were there some base people as well included? De nourriture faisait-elle partie du peuple nouveau Response. ou y avait-il également des membres du peuple de base uh, qui sont décédés there is no discrimination. People fell ill. When medicine was scarce, uh, then people could not be saved on time. So this applies to all people, including the new and the base of people. But uh, uh, the effect uh, appears to be um, more seen on the new people than the base people Mais because these new people had to adapt a new way of life. So life was not as pleasant as uh, uh, expected. Qui, uh, Question. Était, uh, Thank you. I would like uh, to move to another topic uh, which is about Merci. commerce sector Je vais passer à un autre or rather sujet commerce office of sector 103. Du commerce, du secteur and the question number two of your statement, you said uh, after the 17th of April 1975, and when you were asked uh, where you worked, you said uh, you worked at commerce office of sector 103. What did you do? in that commerce section. Que faisiez-vous au sein de ce bureau? Response. 
réponse. In the commerce unit, uh, indeed, after I had been discharged from the hospital after I got injury, I was assigned new tasks at sector 103 uh, in the commerce section to prepare the inventory, the list of commerce and distribution. Et la liste Question. De you mentioned about Question. your roles in commerce uh, section of sector 103. What was actually the overall role for commerce section of 103? Vous avez décrit vos propres fonctions, mais quel était le rôle Response. du bureau du commerce du secteur 103? The core roles Réponse. or function of commerce section of 103 du du was that uh, people were expected or ex uh, supposed to collect all the uten uh, kitchen utensils, for example, like Les dishes, and have them collected uh, from cuisine, various, par exemple, uh, from the sector, and also um, they had du uh, the task of the sector, or rather, section was to distribute the collected clothes, dishes, and other materials to different districts and cooperatives. Question. To which districts uh, were these clothes or materials? Distributed. Où, a, où a t on distribué ces vêtements et ce matériel? Dans quel district? The materials, Réponse. items collected from Phnom Penh in particular, were distributed to uh, districts and cooperatives, and the distribution amount varies according et to the size of district and cooperatives. Au district Question, ou à une who determined uh, the exact Question. amount of Qui distribution to these uh, districts de and la cooperatives? Exacte, uh, de ces qui Response. Aux the amount of Réponse. materials uh, to be distributed to districts and cooperatives, uh, the decision was made uh, by group, including the superiors of our section. Par un group and on some occasions, we received uh, orders uh, from sector level regarding this uh, Distribution. Les, les chefs de secteur et parfois nous recevions des ordres de plus haut concernant Question. cette distribution. Do you know Question. to whom sector 103 had to report regarding the materials to be distributed to districts? Savez-vous à qui le secteur 103 devait Response. faire rapport au sujet de cette distribution sector de matériel? Sector 103 had to deal with the center and so far as I know Pang and Ki would be the two individuals who were the focal persons to contact when it comes to communication with the center from sector 103. Qui Mr. Witness says the co-prosecutor. At any point in time during this period, Question. were you Monsieur ever Timon. promoted to become the head of commerce section of sector 103? Pendant cette période, avez-vous été promu chef Response. du secteur du commerce ou chef du bureau du commerce du secteur 103? Neither had I ever Réponse. been promoted as the chairman of commerce section or deputy chairman chef, of the section but I was uh, once the member of the section for sure and uh, I was bien I was working with Rit uh, who was the uh, person Rit. also in charge 
Question: What did lui Ruth do at that était time? Responsable. Question: Que faisait Ruth à cette époque? Response: Ruth was the deputy Réponse. chairman. He was overly in charge adjoint. of transportation, Il était warehouses, and also overall administration and arrangement. And I can say générale. that. Uh, he was uh, overly in charge of this commerce uh, section and above him it was Je Hong. Il avait la responsabilité générale Question. Du bureau, uh, du so commerce, is it fair to say that Hong, Hong was the head and then donc dire um, que Hong en était was le his chef deputy? Et que Rit était son adjoint. Response. Rit Réponse. was the deputy head of the commerce section Ritz when Hong was the du du chairman of the sector level. Et Hong en était le chef Question, au can du you secteur. please be more precise? Who Question. was the chairman of précis. commerce section of sector 103? Le chef du bureau du commerce du secteur 103. Response. Pin was the head of commerce section of 103. C'est Pin qui était le chef du bureau du commerce du secteur 103. Question. Question. Was Pin the all-time chairman of commerce section of 103 or was another person appointed as his successor during this entire period of democratic le chef du bureau du commerce ou a-t-il été remplacé Response. à quelques moments pendant la période I may du have to démocratique. talk about this in detail Pien Réponse, uh, at the beginning was in charge of commerce début, section at K1 était responsable du bureau du commerce au sein de K1 uh, he was close to bon a brother man but when Man passed away, du frère Man. then Man uh, these people were gathered to work at the commerce section in Roving. From that on, there was no K1, K2 as such. Uh, it was only commerce K1, section in K2, sector 103, a one single commerce section there. Donc, il y avait un seul bureau du commerce à cet endroit. Question. Thank you. Question. Where was commerce section in sector 103 situated? Où se situait le bureau du commerce Response. du secteur 103? Réponse. It was situated in Rovieng district. Dans le district de Rovieng. In the provincial town of district uh, Rovieng. Avrovian. Dans la ville ou dans le chef lieu du district de Rovian. Question: How far was it uh, from commerce Question. office uh, to the office for, of the sector? Quelle était la distance entre le bureau du commerce Response. et le bureau du secteur? It was about fifteen. Kilometers. Réponse, environ 15 km. Because sector officer was in Tumlop district when le commerce office was in Roving district. Alors que le bureau du commerce était Question. dans le district de Roving. Regarding meetings, Question. did any members of this commerce section join meetings when member of sectors convened the meetings? Commerce ont participé à des réunions convoquées par le secteur. Response. Commerce section Réponse. staff or people had to attend Les meetings and assemblies like other members of other offices with the sector level. Question. Were meetings and assemblies frequent or how often were these events uh, conducted? 
ces événements avaient lieu à quelle fréquence? Response. Assembly would be convened Réponse. once every three months. And there would be some other urgent meetings, the meetings that uh, would be Et called on own initiative of the sector secretary. Question, were district uh, chiefs uh, also invited in these uh, kind of rallies or uh, assemblies or meetings? Participer également à ces assemblées. In such a meetings, uh, everyone would be invited to attend, including military who were stationed at the border. Question. In general, Question. what were the topics of those? Uh, De façon générale, assemblies or urgent meetings? Answer. Réponse. The content of the assemblies or the meetings were first the implementation of the 3.5 tons to 7 tons per hectare based on the assigned duty. De this means that we had to conduct a storm attack to achieve the best production Il as possible donc and it applies to both the, pour to the military and also to the civilians. Ça pour les et les civils. And that would be under the leadership of the district level. Cela as for the other offices, concerning les autres bureaux, including the, the Commerce Office, they had to engage in their work and perform the duty to their best. Faire de leur mieux Thank pour you. Leur Question. Regarding the Question. Commerce Office in Sector 103, did they have its own office in Phnom Penh? Du secteur 107. De son propre bureau Answer, Phnom Penh. to my knowledge, Réponse. There was a, an office uh, in Phnom Penh situated near the riverbank. The purpose was for the transportation of goods uh, by car or au by de boat. Marchandises par voiture ou par bateau. Question. Did you ever come to that office Question. in Phnom Penh? Êtes-vous jamais allé à ce bureau à Phnom Penh? Answer. Réponse. Yes, I went oui. there once when we transported the injured. It was uh, during the, the new year, so I had to accompany those Quand injured nous people. Nous avons to transporté Penh. des blessés, je les ai accompagnés à Phnom Penh. That was on the 17th April. C'était le 17 avril. My last question to you is the following. Question. Voici ma dernière the question. cadres at Sector 103, through your knowledge, you were assigned to work in the office in Phnom Penh. Who were they? Dans ce bureau, and selon uh, vous, qui through my knowledge, the cadres who came to station in the office in Phnom Penh were all arrested. Travaillant au bureau de Phnom Penh pour le secteur 103. Réponse, à ma connaissance, ils ont tous été arrêtés. In fact, uh, one has survived, but in 1979, it was the person was a, a brother or the sister in law of Kiev Sampon, but the rest disappeared. Question. Can you recall the names of those who disappeared and regarding the other in law of Kiev Sampon? What was the name? Comment s'appelait cette personne apparentée à Kyo Sampan par alliance et qu'en est-il de ceux qui ont disparu Answer, the elder in law of Kyo Sampan, while he is, was still alive, uh, was La personne apparentée Chorn. par alliance à Kyo Sampan, c'était Chorn de son vivant. Some died, including Peng. Certains sont morts, dont Peng. And I cannot recall the other names. Je ne me souviens pas des autres noms. I only can recall the name of Peng. Je me souviens juste du nom de Peng. 
Thank you, Mr. Vietnes and Mr. President. I conclude uh, my Témoin. part, and I would like now Monsieur my President, international colleague to continue. La parole à mon President, thank you. Le yes, uh, you may Merci, proceed. Je vous en prie. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, uh, Mr. Pramsu. Bonjour, Monsieur Pramsu. Let me just uh, quickly follow up on something that you just mentioned. Um, you indicated that you came to the sector office in Phnom Penh once in order to transport some injured people. Uh, can you tell us what year that was and why it was that you were transporting injured people uh, to the uh, sector office in Phnom Penh? As I recall it, it Réponse. was on the New Year's Day, Il me and the rest que were busy le jour in the celebration année. of the New Year. Les autres so that Pris I par les accompanied a medic by the name of Chon donc with the injured people. Chon pour transporter les blessés. And I believe that was in 1975, and they wrote a verse pretty rough back then. À la so route I came along with a medic named Chon. Then uh, they, they went to the 17 April hospital. Ensuite, ils sont allés à du 17 avril. And how was it that these people had been injured? Dans quelles circonstances ces gens avaient-ils été blessés? Through my recollection, pour autant que je me souvienne, the injuries were actually accidentally shot. It, it was Ces not the injuries from the battlefield. Par balle, accidentellement, et non pas durant les combats. I want to move on uh, to some questions Question. that relate to the um, structure, uh, lines relative. of authority, reporting, structure and communications in Sector 3, 103, uh, during the uh, DK regime. And uh, you've indicated uh, that um, Hong Vous avez dit uh, was the Sector Han 103 secretary le secrétaire du secteur uh, after the death of <coughs> Bong Man in 1974. Bong Man en 1974. And you indicate in answer number three of Alors your OCIJ interview uh, that uh, Hong continued to be sec Han sector secretary until his arrest at the end of 1977. So I would like to start with some questions relating to the period uh, during which Hong was the sector secretary. And w one of the documents uh, that has been admitted uh, in this trial uh, is the minutes of a eight March 1976 Standing Committee meeting on base work, which is document E3 slash 232, E3 slash 232. The list of attendees at this meeting includes the party secretary Paul Pot, the deputy secretary Noon Chea, Q Sam Pan, alias Hem, a representative from Sector 106 identified as Comrade Sot, and a representative from Sector 103 identified as Comrade Hong. Can you confirm for us whether Hong was the secretary of Sector 103 as of March 1976? Through my recollection, Réponse. Hong had been appointed uh, in that position 
prior to 1971 Man. So, in fact, after the death of Man, he was Après in the acting Man, position. Lui était chef à titre and of course, by 1976, he was a full fledged chairman sûr, of the sector. Il était président bon du man secteur à part died, probably bon man est mort in late 1974 vers la fin 1974 because i was injured and upon my return he died fait, moi j'ai été blessé et à mon retour il était mort were you aware during the um, democratic Capuchia period à l'époque du sector chairman Hong que le made trips Hong to Phnom Penh to meet vers Phnom with Penh the party leaders there. Les dirigeants du parti. Regarding Réponse. the meetings with the upper echelon or with the uh, central committee, avec le him, central he did not tell me. Ou l'échelon supérieur, il ne m'a rien dit à ce sujet. He came to, along with his uh, messenger by a vehicle. Il y allait. And uh, during his Avec son absence, there would be someone acting in, uh, in his uh, capacity en son absence, in the office. Le au and uh, question. Uh, can you tell us approximately how often was Sector Chairman Hong absent environ? from the sector? Le président de Sector Hong s'est-il absenté de son secteur? I could not uh, grasp uh, the situation. Je ne comprenais because pas bien la time, situation. At that time, the issue of uh, secrecy was uh, high and uh, strict, so I only minded uh, my own business. Était strictement observé, et je m'occupais seulement de mes affaires. I want to um, read to you a portion from the um, 8 March 1976 Standing Committee Minutes de cette in which uh, Sector Chairman Hong reported uh, on the situation in the sector. And for the record, Hong this is section 2.3 of those minutes. Uh, in that part of the meeting, Hong reported, Ici, Hong quote, Many of the brothers and sisters of the people in the work sites are ill and have fevers. End of quote. He also reported on the enemy situation in the sector, stating, quote, along the Thai border, especially at Prasat Prevahir, there are no activities, ah, but they send in spies, Thai nationals whom we have captured. Continu continuing, Hong reported Ensuite, that Hong since January, almost 100 janvier, people in total have been arrested. Au total ont été uh, do you arrêté. know what was done with Thai nationals believed to be spies who were captured uh, at Prevahir? Qui étaient soupçonnés where they were taken and what happened to them. Qui ont été à Où ont été et que leur est -il no, uh, I did not grasp the situation regarding the arrest Je of the Thai pas la situation people. pour ce qui est de l'arrestation de Thaïlandais. I knew that uh, there were the red ties or in Khmer Thai Krohom who came to make, to make their best along uh, the area. Qui but I did not know about the rest of the Thai. Région, mais pour les autres thai je rien. And uh, 
In that same meeting, uh, Hong reported to the party leaders réunion, in Phnom Penh Hong that there had been almost 100 people arrested Penh, uh, since quoi, January. Uh, I want to refer janvier. you to answer number 14 of your OCIJ interview in which you made the following Ici, statement, quote, when Ta Hong was the chairman of the sector, there were also arrests of teachers, government officers, and cadres who had political tendency. However, the arrest was in small scale." End of quote. Uh, who were you referring to when you stated that uh, government officers were arrested during Hong's period as sector secretary? Secrétaire du secteur, à qui faites-vous référence Through my recollection, it was the village chief of Swai Damnat by the name of Kum. C'était le chef de village de Swai Damnat qui s'appelait Kum. Lui a été arrêté. That was in late 1975, Ça, and later on there was an tard, arrest of a teacher un enseignant a été arrêté whom également. I knew, Je le connaissais. and that was in 1969. Ça, At that time, some of them were arrested. En 1969. When you said that some of the Question. people arrested were cadres who had political tendency, uh, what did you mean by politique. political tendency? Par là? Regarding the political matter, Réponse. Pour ce qui est des questions politiques, it would refer to their political background or status during the Lonol regime. dépendait de leur statut politique sous le régime de Lonol. That's what I meant by political tendency. À ça que je fais référence quand je parle de certaines tendances politiques. Je fais référence à leur statut sous le régime précédent. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to uh, show uh, the witness now a document, uh, document E3-874, uh, E3-874, uh, which is a 18 July 1976 telegram from Hong um, addressed to beloved and missed brothers uh, and copied to brothers Nguyen, Q, Van, uh, and Office and Documentation. Uh, with your leave, I'd like to present that to the witness. Du 18 President, yes, as you may do so. Court officer, could you deliver the document from the prosecution for the witness examination? Remettre ce document au témoin. Mr. Witness, the part of this document that I want to direct your attention to is section 2. And in particular, uh, at the start of the section, uh, it is indicated there is an, a report regarding a person named Huon, which states, quote, in the night of 14 July, when the region chief had gone to Phnom Penh and the people at the commerce unit were at the Tunnup Kavang worksite, Huon was at home threatening to rape five pregnant women, wives of the commerce unit's soldiers. One of the soldiers arrived and saw Kuhn assaulting his wife. Then he ran to report to our comrades in the commerce unit's committee. And then continuing 
later below. Quote, according to the analysis of the region's chief and the people of the commercial branch, Puan is incapable. Interruption du président. President interrupt. The prosecutor, there is Monsieur an objection by the counsel for Kiss and Pond. You Kiss may pause. pause. Kiss and Pond's defense, you may proceed. On. Thank you, Mr. Maître President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I'd like to request that the prosecution should follow the procedure of uh, presenting the document first, whether the witness is familiar with the document uh, handed si to him before document. the prosecution can, in fact, uh, read a uh, rather long passage uh, from the document. Mr. President, if I may respond, one of the exceptions we've established uh, particularly with reports uh, regarding areas that the person was responsible for is that the witness is entitled to review and testify about reports or minutes that concern directly concern matters within his area of knowledge. This is a report that concerns events that took place at the Commerce Unit in Sector 103, uh, and under the prior precedent, we've been allowed uh, for witnesses to testify about reports and telegrams where they directly involve matters within their knowledge. Au sujet desquels ces témoins possèdent des informations. President, Defense Council, you may proceed. La parole est à la Défense. Très rapidement pour dire que le témoin a contesté avoir été responsable de région au niveau du contested the fact that he was responsible for the trade division, and if it is deemed necessary to examine him on that particular matter, he may do so, but to impose a document document as if he were familiar with it and to take it for granted without any preliminary questioning would be inappropriate. Mr. President, and to take it for granted without any preliminary questioning is inappropriate. Mr. President, the point of the question was to direct him read to him the portions of the document and then to ask him whether he was familiar with the matter that was reported. Uh, in order to do that, rather than have the witness read on his own the entire document, it seems to me more efficient for us to direct him to the specific sections of the document that concern the commerce unit and I would note uh, concern the commerce committee which he has stated he was a member of du commerce dont il a déclaré avoir été membre. President, the chamber is of the view that this is a specific case. It is also related to the, the task that the witness engaged in, that is the Commerce Office. And the that is also related to the content of the telegram. And for that reason, the Chamber also wished to hear the abstract from the telegram. So, yes, the prosecution, as you may proceed with your questioning to this witness and to read uh, the relevant portion from that telegram. Mr. Mr. Witness, um, 
I was referring to a section in the middle of uh, part two of the document, which reads, quote, according to the analysis of the region's chief and the people of the commercial branch, Puan is incapable of observing the socialist, socialist line. He is against it instead. And then uh, towards the very end in the last paragraph, quote, everybody's comments are the same as the region chiefs, agreeing that Puan has no more revolutionary element. There is no way to change him back he can only betray us further. Beside the personal point of view of betrayal of the socialist line mentioned above, the only issue is to search for traitors' connections and their origin. And the report concludes by requesting advice from the party on the matter. My question to you, Mr. Witness, is do you recall this incident and can you vous tell us who Poon was? Qui était ce Poon? As I stated, it, the name was not Poon, it was Pien. Ce n'était pas Poon, mais bien Pien. An ethnic minority who was in charge of the commerce section. Une minorité ethnique qui était responsable de la section du commerce. And, uh, for the arrest of uh, that person, I was de in fact working in a rice field at moi, the time. À je travaillais dans les rizières. By that time, the screening process uh, was done. Le processus had de to gauge the good or bad Il s'agissait de séparer les so bons I des was a bit éléments. familiar with this matter. Donc je connaissais Ce type de problème. The deputy of the commerce arrested uh, that brother Pien and placed him at the uh, sector security center, center which uh, belongs to Bong Hang. Qui relevait de Bong Hang. And in fact, it caused uh, by fait, Bong Red regarding the uh, conflicts at the uh, commerce office in the Ruin. Then he Red made a report au conflit, au to the a Revien, il Central a fait Committee un to ask Central for opinion. However, this is based on my understanding. Ainsi que compris les choses. Uh, so just so we're clear, the question. person that's discussed in this report is the rapport, person you previously identified, Pien, who was in charge of the commerce office. Is that correct? Du du exact. Yes, that is correct. Réponse. Pien was the uh, chairman of Pien the office. Était le président du bureau. And do you recall what happened to Pien after this report was sent to the leaders in Phnom Penh? After he, his arrest, he was placed at the security center, and after the report, that person, Pien, disappeared. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I'd like to move to Mr. another President, document now. I can continue or we can, or if you want to take the morning break now, I will, uh, I'll be moving to a new subject. Pour observer la pause matinale. À vous de voir. President, uh, thank you. The time is appropriate for a short break. Le moment est venu d'observer une courte pause. a 15 minute break. L'audience reprendra dans 15 minutes. And we return at a quarter to 11. À 10h45. And the prosecution and the litical lawyers L'accusation et les convocats principaux once again that for this morning session we will adjourn at 10 to 12. 10 to 12. Se voit as we will commence the afternoon session at 20 past 1 for the afternoon de hearing through a video conference. So 
and also we saw turn a little bit of time of the break this morning that will be only for 15 minutes. Par ailleurs, and court officer, could you assist the witness during the break and have him return to the courtroom at a quarter to 11? The court is now recessed.